perpetual top. Spin this top once and it'll run for, um, well, a long time. But how does it work? Interesting question since rotational energy can't just come out of nowhere. You'll need to look deep inside the perpetual top to find the secret of its seemingly endless rotational energy. Inside the battery compartment you'll see a cutout in the plastic ring around the batteries. This allows light from the alternating red, green, blue LED to be reflected through the clear plastic rim of the top's casing. Remove the plastic ring surrounding the battery compartment and the basic electrical circuit can be seen. As the top is given its initial spin, a small metal bar at the end of a spring moves outward and comes in contact with the metal plate located on the outer ring of the top. By removing the bottom of the battery compartment, you'll see that attached to the bottom of the casing is a small flat disc about the size of a dime. The disc has two connections, one positive, the other negative. Removing the top of the disc casing reveals the components of a very small motor. Looking closely through a magnifying glass, you'll see that placed on a tiny axle is a rotor that has two copper coils. The coils are located to weight one side of the rotor. Lifting off the rotor assembly reveals the small contact brushes, axle, and ring magnet of the motor. So, how does it work? Well, the initial spin forces the inertial spring switch to close, completing the circuit from the battery to the motor and the LED. Because the rotor is weighted on one side, it creates a rotational wobble as it spins. In addition, the motor is providing torque to the top in the opposite direction of its rotation, Newton's first law. This wobbling rotational impulse is much like a child swinging their legs on a swing set. This gives the top its impetus to spin in its original direction. Because of the gyroscopic effect of the spinning, you'll see the top's rotation smooth out while the speed of rotation increases. Since the top does not have a bi-directional motor, you'll also notice that it only works in one direction, clockwise. The same input that allows it to perpetually spin to the right also prevents it from spinning much at all to the left or counterclockwise.